warm welcome one and all, it's uh, Nick back and we're looking at Cadaver on the uh, Commodore Amiga developed by the Bitmap Brothers which are also responsible for great games like Xenon 2 and the Speedball series published by Imageworks in 1990 also came out on the Atari ST, MS-DOS and the Acorn Archimedes now we'll be having a, a quick look at this one because it's not a game I played a great deal consists of two discs, the second disc is a level disc and there was an expansion disc as well which was sold separately called uh, the payoff now it's an isometric arcade type game looks a bit like the uh, Spectrum games from Ultimate in premise at least but this is by the Bitmap Brothers there's five levels and you're set in a castle so here's our dwarf person, no it's not Igor, it's someone else your mission is to seek out and kill the necromancer Dianos um, and then uh, kill him for some reason. He's the sole inhabitant left of Castle Wharf. I don't know what this necromancer has done. Nothing bad, I hope. But you start off level one in the dungeons and must work your way all up to the battlements for the final end mission. Now this dwarf, he's got a few things he can do. There's a number of objects to pick up to um, aid him in his adventures. Where you can pick up objects, throw things, pull things, push things, and also stack objects to get to higher levels. Now, I never ever completed level 1 of this, so I'm a fool to think I'll complete level 1 in this review. So let's just have a look to see how it works. Now, with my reviews, the attempt is never to complete the whole thing, but there's always, uh, everyone's clever really, but there's always one dullard in a million who says, you should have done this, you should have done that, why didn't you do this? Well, um, you must be new to the channel, you just don't know what's going on. Okay. Let's have a look here. So, all 3D isometric. As I say, the angle reminds me a lot like a Night Law, an early ZX Spectrum game. But other options here, apart from the keyboard, you can um, look at the map, which fills itself in as you go around. And uh, also access objects in your rucksack, like a stone to throw and so forth. In those barrels, sometimes there's water or food, or spiders come down. There's water or food you can collect to um, make your energy go up. But it almost could be like an ultimate kick going on the Amiga. I've let off a spell. I don't think I should have done that. But if the um, ultimate had released games on the Commodore Amiga, this is what they probably would have looked like. But well put together, regarded by lots of people as a classic. It wasn't one of my favourites, but it's a good game. Right, let's see. There's quite a lot to do here. Let's try and work out what's going on. Now, if I stack things on top of each other, I can get to those higher levels in the last room that you saw. Right, this magic is not really working like I thought it would. I thought I'd kill this thing up here to reveal a switch or something, but that's that's obviously not working properly. Boo! Hello? No, what's going on? Hmm. Right, this is day one. We get off this, then we go to day two. And you can work out the rest for yourself. Now, I can. there's a big worm in here. Somehow i got to f collect um, stones so I can throw and kill this thing, I think. And there's a key to get from somewhere to open the door. Of course, if I lose too much energy, it's the end of the game. Now, you might see um, those windows down the bottom are left there. They fill up with options whenever I come up to an object. So generally, it's either pick up, throw, return to the joystick movement, and so forth. It's 8-way directional control this, but you can select it to change it to 4. I don't know why you'd want to. Why make things more difficult for yourself? Now this chap I'm controlling, apparently he's called Caradoc with a K. So if you send him a birthday card, don't put it with a C, he'll just get annoyed. Now we can get up there by stacking things on top of this rock, but God knows what, where that is. Here we go. People that are very familiar with this game and donated lots of hours will be screaming at the uh, computer screen now with stuff I should be doing. But um, maybe, maybe ease your nerves and watch another video. My gameplay is bad at best and at worst, well, let's not go there. A very smelly space. Space, place, place I want. Like in the sewers. So this is like a sewer dungeon which is quite apt for this gameplay. Cadavar. We well, might come to the extra levels disc at some point in the payoff, but I doubt it. In the attempt to view everything, some of my gameplay is going to be worse than others, and this uh, don't get much worse than this. But I, I collected a loaf of bread. Is that any good? They say use your loaf to complete games, don't they? Well, I just said it. 
Hmm. Right, so how much of the map have we completed so far? Probably not much. <laughs> when I've looked at Ultimate Games, the 3D isometric games and the Spectrum, whenever I do a review, I come out and it says completed 2% or something. But nice. I don't know if this had an editor on it. I expect some clever person invented an editor so people could do their own levels. It seems to it seems to look that way, doesn't it? A bit cut and paste-ish. Is Caradoc not wearing any trousers? Oh, what was that thing? So this boat's beyond repair. We've got to fix it somehow or get off the level or something. Cadaver. Now, cadaver, I believe, means dead body. And I don't know why I just threw that gemstone over there because I need that. And I've... I've just chucked it beyond that fungi, which is not the cleverest thing to do. Oh, we got in here. That was the key I collected, I think. He's a bit addicted to gold, this uh, dwarf person. Hmm. I don't know. I've never seen Dianos, who he's got to kill. Does he look a bit like Caradoc, or is he some dragon creature? Comment below if you know. We'd like to hear from you. Please help me. Now, I certainly needed a cheat mode for this game, or a walkthrough, or something. So, this graphic's brilliant. Gameplay, like a puzzle orientated, it's very intriguing. You would have got you would have got your money's worth if you played this game. Right, how can I fix this boat? Alright, let's get this gemstone. Oops, I think I might be losing energy here. No, I can't reach the gemstone thing. Oops, I've got to get out of that water, I'm dead. Move, Caradoc! Oh dear. That don't look good. Right, I think I got away with that, did I? No, I'm dead. I lost all my energy. Do you want to restore the game? Well, I haven't got a save point, really. Curse is Blast and the other one. So, yes. I did tell you this would be a very quick look at Cadaver, didn't I? Hmm. Mind you, it's better than the two other Amiga games I reviewed, uh... A couple of weeks ago, Paperboy 2 and Castlevania, which uh, we better not touch on. So Cadaver's a lot better than them two, although I wish I was a little bit better. Now, the loading times between each thing are quite long, but as I said, the game's only on two discs, so it isn't too much of a hardship. So five levels, it, it changes dramatically through each level, the appearance of it. I say that, it's just the colours, really. So, yes, expanding data, expanding data, expanding data. So here he is again, carried up right at the start. Now, I don't think I'll put you through this again. So I hope you liked having a look at the gameplay of that and getting a rough idea what it is about. So that was, uh, if you haven't been paying attention, Cadaver, developed by the Bitmap Brothers, published by Imageworks in 1990. Hope you liked having a look at that one. Until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.